Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie Morris. Our Lord calls me Sia. When he wants to, by his spirit, he can open my eyes to reveal his holy angels, what their assignments are. He can open my eyes to reveal the works of the enemy and break their assignments. Hallelujah. He can give me dreams, visions, take me in the spirit. He has shown me things in heaven. It is what he is doing by his spirit for our father's will and purposes to be made manifest. He started giving me messages. He calls them from father's heart to yours. So you're going to watch something that has been birthed by the Spirit. It'll be anointed. To receive it, yield to the Spirit of the Lord right now. Because the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians 3.17 As you yield to Him right now, He can bring you truth. You can be set free. You can receive healing in your heart, your mind, your body. As a spirit moves and has his being in your heart and in your life. You can say right now, Holy Spirit, have your way. And I am in agreement with beautiful Holy Spirit, who is my Lord, who is my beloved. Holy Spirit, have your way. Welcome. I have a message from our Lord. He calls these messages from Father's heart to yours. It is a message for one of his beloved who are being misguided. It is a message for us all about discernment in his body and his church. Before I share this message, I take authority over everything of the realms of darkness no matter where they're located, no matter the ranking in their realm, whether it be air, earth or water, they're just defeated demons to us, aren't they? Lord Jesus is disarmed, the principalities and the powers of the enemy. And then, it's in Colossians 2.15, and he gave us the authority over all the powers of the enemy, Luke 10.19. So anything of the realms of darkness will take authority over you and bind you from hindering, distracting or blocking this child of God, from receiving this important message from Father's heart to theirs, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, whose name is above every other name, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and confess he is Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> You've yielded your heart. You've yielded your life to the Lord. If you said yes to Lord Jesus, your life is now laid down. You're living for him. But if you need to right now, say, Holy Spirit, I yield my heart and my life to you. Move and have your being in my life and in my heart. Move through me, Holy Spirit, to the glory of the Father. So the Son is exalted and made manifest in Jesus' name. I pray that for you right now. And you can yield to him. You're yielding to him right now. To the spirit of the almighty. Who I, I'm very much aware is moving. So you can give him the freedom. You give him the permission. To move in your heart, in your life and through your life. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. I thank you Father this be done. That this word will come upon a softened heart, soil that's been made ready, prepared to receive and bear fruit in their lives and lasting fruit, fruit that remains and fruit that is shared to others. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit, move and have your being. You are so awesome. You're the Spirit of the Lord and with the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom. You're the Spirit of the Almighty. And those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, under the tabernacle, the shelter of the Lord, in the tabernacle of his heart, abide under the shadow of the Almighty, whose spirit is now within those who believe. Holy Spirit, 
Move upon your children, Holy Spirit, so they receive this message. All walls to come down around the heart that's been erected to defend and protect themselves. All hurt, disappointment, betrayal, rejection, fall from their hearts, offence, deception, fall from their hearts. That they can hear the truth and the truth set them free. John 8, 32. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And yes, John 8, 36. Whom the Son sets free shall be free indeed. Thank you, Lord. I'm just waiting on him. Barbara, I am going to share this message that you're given by your spirit and the visions that you revealed. I know it's to someone in particular that you're speaking to who's been misguided, but you're speaking to us all about discernment. Discernment in your church, in your body. I do so in utmost reverence unto you and I'm accountable to you, Father. These are your children. These are your beloved, the sheep of your pasture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was waiting for him. He said, commence. So I start. For those who are new to my channel, the Lord asked me to wear a white shirt. It wasn't my idea. It represents Holy Spirit. This is Father's ministry led by His Spirit. Hallelujah. It's truly a life laid down. Allowing Holy Spirit to move and have his being in through us. White curtains behind me, the Lord asked me to put up as well, not my idea, heavenly realms. For those who believe have been raised with Lord Jesus in heavenly realms, heavenly places, seated with him in a position of rest and peace, authority and dominion. The finished work of the cross, resurrection, life and power. You have the incorruptible seed within you now, that's the Spirit of the Almighty, of our Lord. Immortality, no more death and corruption in Jesus' name. So I thank you, Father. You have prepared the hearts of your children to hear this from you. I know they see me and hear my voice, but I truly desire, Father, they receive it from your Spirit, from you. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We look to you. Thank you, Father. We thank you for your presence. <laughs> this is very much, it's beautiful, it's flowing. It's your beautiful presence, Lord. Thank you. And we thank you for your presence within us, in your spirit. Okay, you're ready. No matter where you are in the world, you're seated in heavenly places with Lord Jesus. You're going to hear a message by He, watch it, His Spirit. This is what I heard him say. I wasn't expecting to do a video today. I will not be mocked. As a man sows, so shall he reap. I heard him say that strong. You can read that in Galatians 6, 7. God is not deceived. As a man sows, he shall reap. Do you not know I am God? Nothing is hidden from me. Do you suppose what you do in dark, and I heard hidden from man, is hidden from me, your maker? This is a correction to my beloved. That means someone he loves, his child. Misguided to do and say things, not of me. When he said that, I was given a vision. In the vision, I was shown someone alone in a room. This person heard something and began mulling over in their mind what they heard. It was not of God. I saw a demon whispering and an imposter, disguising itself as the voice of God. I heard it was a deceiving spirit who was speaking lies. Then 1 Timothy 4.1 was brought to my mind. Holy Spirit, I ask that you enlighten their understanding to receive this truth, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit explicitly says that in the latter times, the end times which we're in now, some will fall away from the faith, 
paying attention to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons. I saw this person write down what they heard and then said it was from God. But it was not the spirit of God they heard. They listened to a demonic spirit. I heard it was a deceiving spirit. And I felt Holy Spirit grieving. It's the demon of deception. It twists truth to entice a person to receive its lies. Now this is important what I'm sharing with you. Please don't let anything distract you. Please don't let anything hinder you, prevent you from hearing this. It's for us all, but in particular this message is for someone who's being misguided. But the word about discernment is for us all. We need to discern by the Spirit, capital S. What is of him and what is not? What is truth, what is error? What is right and what is wrong? For this to happen, we need to be walking by the Spirit. Now, I've done two videos recently about walking by the Spirit and how Holy Spirit speaks to us. I'm going to share the links for those videos below the description of this video. I've had years to learn the voice of the Lord, how he speaks to us, and how to walk by the Spirit. It doesn't happen overnight, but every one of us can learn, can start, we're never too old, to hear the voice of the Spirit. He's within all those who believe. Holy Spirit. He's the Spirit of Christ, the Anointed One. So I encourage you to watch those videos. Learn what it means to walk by the Spirit. Learn how he's speaking to you personally. And my good morning, Holy Spirit. It's not really a prayer. I say it's a prayer, but it's not. Because you don't pray to Holy Spirit. You commune and, and fellowship with him. Pray to the Father. But I call it a Holy Spirit prayer so people would understand it's something that's speaking to the Spirit of the Almighty. Holy Spirit is a person. He's with us. He's our helper, our comforter, our teacher, our counsellor. He will lead and guide us in all truth and righteousness if we let him, if we submit, surrender and yield every area of our lives down. Put them down. Give them over. Yield to him so he can reveal the truth. Expose lies, deceptions. Address them. He's the power of the might. He's his power to cast down everything that had sold itself against the knowledge of God. Not of our strength. It's the power of his might. Mighty are the weapons of our warfare in him. And he's there with us to help us. If we don't turn to him, he'll wait. He'll wait for us to turn to him. Sometimes he'll intervene, sometimes he'll give us a nudge and a prompt and, and give us a warning and we go, oh, and later on hindsight tells us, oh, I think that was God warning me. But you can learn to hear his voice, recognize him straight away, to lead so he can lead and guide you in life. God's will and purpose is for your life. And God's will and purpose is through your life. We need to know the Spirit. We need to know him and walk by him. It's important. I heard Holy Spirit say, Distinguishing spirits wait on me for all things. I said, yes, Lord. Distinguishing spirits to discern the spirits. All right, let's start. If you read in 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit, capital S, beautiful Holy Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. 
and there are diversities of activities. But the same God who works or in all. But the manifestation, that's the revealing, the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. What are the manifestations? For to one is given the word of wisdom, gift, <laughs> words of wisdom. It's a manifestation of the Spirit, not of man. For all, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all, for the edification and the encouragement of the, of the body of Christ to build each other up. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another of discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But the one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. The spiritual gifts. I've heard people say, I'm going to use this gift today. And I'm like, well, that tells me you don't know the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you don't know the Spirit who gave you that spiritual gift, who moves that spiritual gift through man. It is Holy Spirit who gave us spiritual gifts, words of wisdom, knowledge. You just heard them all. It is Holy Spirit who moves us in the gifts. The gifts are the manifestation of the Spirit through man. It is what Holy Spirit is doing, not man. Who got it? <laughs> Who got it? A lot of people are taking credit for what Holy Spirit is doing. Give him the credit, please. That's what he's doing. The flesh of man, those in carnality, cannot discern that which is spiritual. Keep listening. Because I keep hearing Holy Spirit saying this is important. 1 Corinthians 2.14 But the natural man, those in carnality, living by the earthly senses, does not receive, can't receive, the things of the Spirit of God. They're more likely to mock them or come against that person who does speak by the Spirit. For they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Meaning they cannot discern spiritual things. Flesh cannot discern spiritual things. Only with the help of Holy Spirit can we truly discern the spirits behind words. We're getting back to that vision now and what the Lord said about someone who's been misguided, hearing something that is not of God, and saying it is God, and sharing it with others. All right. These words could be either spoken or written from either the soulish realm, which is the flesh that profits nothing, from the demonic realm, which only comes to steal, kill, and destroy, or the heavenly realm by the Spirit. Where brings life. Hallelujah. You know when someone speaks by the Spirit. Well, I do. I recognize it. I know when he speaks. I recognize his voice. I understand it. That's Holy Spirit. I know him. You need to know him. Then you'll recognize him. Someone can speak something that is good and it does not come by the Spirit. It's come from another realm. That's when you learn not to go by your, your natural. You wait on Holy Spirit. What's the truth of the matter? Because a lot of people learn to put on a good show. <laughs> but Holy Spirit sees straight through that. <laughs> and if you're living by the Spirit, you will too. John 6, 6, John 6 63. If the, it is the Spirit who gives life. This is Jesus speaking. It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit. The words he spoke were of spirit. The words he spoke were 
Words are spirits. I won't get into that too much today. Words are spirits. What's the spirit behind the words? Lord Jesus only spoke by the spirit. Therefore, they are life. You see, the words I speak to you are spirit and they are life. Spiritual words. Please give them understanding, Holy Spirit. Enlarge their capacity, please, to receive more from you. I thank you for it. Because I'm speaking spiritual things to you now. John 10, John 10, 10, the thief does not come except to steal, kill and destroy. Lord Jesus came, I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. It is Holy Spirit who trains our spiritual senses over time to discern good from evil. Hebrews 5.14 But solid foods is for the mature who because of practice have their senses trained to discern good and evil. We need a Holy Spirit. We are told to test the spirits. Either we're listening to something or listening to what someone else is speaking. They are words. Whether they're thoughts or whether words that are spoken or written. We need to be testing them. We are told to test the spirits. Do they line up with the word of God? Are they of the spirit of God? Revealing his characteristics, his manifestations of love and peace and hope and faithfulness, compassion, kindness, his grace, his goodness, his attributes. Always leading and guiding us to true repentance in the kindness of the Lord. Directing us to the Lord Jesus, our focus being on him. To receive his love and know his truth and his ways. Thus we need to know the word of God by the spirit. It brings him to life within us and then empowers us to live it. 1 John 4, 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit. Do not believe every word you hear. Do not believe every thought you hear. But test the spirits to see if they are to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. And it's very true. A lot of deceptions being released. All right, Hebrews four, twelve to three. For the word of God is living and powerful, and sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight. All things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. Beautiful Lord, I thank you for your grace for all those who are listening, all those who are watching. Thank you for your grace. We do not know we are possibly being misguided, being deceived. Listening to spirits, not of God, if we do not know the voice of the Spirit, if we're not walking by the Spirit. See the links below the description of this video for the two videos I mentioned earlier. It's a life laid down. Learning to hear the Spirit. It's a life laid down. Not of self and to self. Living for Christ. But His Spirit is within us, Spirit of Christ. To know His voice. Romans 8, 14. Those who are being led by the Spirit of God, our sons and daughters of God. Led by Him. We need to be led by Him. Therefore, we need to know Him. Okay. Therefore, in humility, 
in complete surrender unto our, unto our Lord, we lay everything down. Everything we hear, whether personally or through a person, we wait on Holy Spirit to reveal the truth behind the words. He is the Spirit of Truth. He will confirm what is of Him and what is not of Him. He said earlier, Distinguishing spirits, wait on me for all things. Wait on Him. You learn to wait on Him about everything. Acknowledge Him in all things and wait on Him to hear His voice. Beautiful Lord. He will confirm something. He will confirm to us if it's of him and if it's not of him. If you wait on him. And have an ear to hear the spirit, what he's saying. Malachi 3.18. It's talking about those who fear God. Then you shall again discern, distinguish the spirits. Between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. The righteous are walking in righteousness. They are the ones who are serving God. The wicked are those who are serving self and then unknowingly serving Satan. We walk in righteousness, choose and do what is right in his sight not just in man, to receive only by his spirit. And anything that is not of him, we don't receive it, don't listen, don't mull over it, and don't say it's from him. We'll know the truth. We'll be able to discern by the spirit who's been given to us, Holy Spirit, truth from error, right from wrong. I'm going to pray a prayer for us all. Because this is important. The body of Christ needs to be discerning to distinguish the spirits. Otherwise, we will be misled by someone who's being misguided, speaking words not of God. We want to be led by the shepherd's voice, not the voice of a stranger. It takes a humble heart, humility. Laying it all down. Holy Spirit, have your way. Yielding to him. Holy Spirit, I yield my heart and my life to you. Allowing him to bring correction if it's needed. Let him. He loves you. The Lord said this was a word to his beloved, someone he loves. He's being misguided. He disciplines those he loves. It's, he's, he's giving, he's letting someone know, hey, you're listening to a spirit that's not of him. He's letting us know we need to be discerning what we hear, what we listen to. It can only happen by his spirit. It's only by Holy Spirit can we discern what is spiritual. You can't by the natural man. We read that in the word. You can't. You'll perceive and discern by your flesh, your perceptions, your understanding, what someone else might have said to you. A wrong belief, wrong mindset. You'll receive and perceive by a hurt in your heart. Wounds. No. We need to discern and perceive by the Spirit of God. Truth. Only through Him can we know. He is the Spirit of Truth. He just said to me, correct. <laughs> and yes, I do know Him. And I, yes, I do hear Him. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray a prayer for all fathers' children, for us all. And it comes from Philippians 1, verse 9 to 11, when Apostle Paul wrote this to the church in Philippi. Now, I've added in the Greek meaning as well. I'm doing the New King James Version. I don't know about you, but I tend to pray the Word of God. It's truth, you see. Father's Word will go forth and prosper in the thing it's sent forth to do. It will not turn void. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray this in faith for us all that our love may abound still more and more in real full knowledge 
and all discernment so that we may approve, test, prove the things that are excellent, the things that differ in order to be sincere, genuine and blameless without offence until the day of Christ. Having been filled with the fruit of righteousness which comes for Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'm going to pray now as well for us all, individually and separately. Romans 12, 2. That we not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind, that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, Father, if it be your will, because you have moved me through the gift of discerning of spirits, this you have done over the years by your spirit. It's been like fine-tuned by your spirit. I ask, Father, it be your will for all those who are watching and listening that you would impart the gift of discerning of spirits. To those who receive it from you right now, they're not receive anything that is not of you. They're only received from you. The gift, if they want that right now, the gift of discerning of spirits. So they will be able to discern by your spirit what is of you and what is not. What is truth, what is error, what is right and wrong. To know your will. To know when your spirit is moving and when he's not moving. To recognize his voice and be led by him. I ask this be released now, Father, for all your children who are watching or listening. Oh, that's the glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Now, if you want that, say yes to him right now. Because right now, suddenly in my room, it's become very misty. I've got a cloud of glory. Oh my goodness, my Lord, that's his presence. <sighs> Father, we love you. We thank you for the truth. That we be lovers of your truth. That we be moved by your spirit of truth. To know the truth. Lord Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. We only be led by his spirit. Father, come upon all your children. Move them by your spirit to know your voice. And the one who's been misguided, show them the truth, Lord. Show them the truth. Reveal the deception. Reveal lies of the enemy. And they turn to you. Know they're forgiven. Because they're your beloved children. And you love them so much. No one knows they're deceived or misguided, Lord. So show us all the truth. Show us that your light come and enlighten our understanding. Open the eyes of our heart. Move upon us by your spirit. Because the carnal, natural man cannot discern and perceive those things that are spirit. So move us by your spirit to know you. To know your realm. <laughs> to know your glory realm. <laughs> to know your heart. To know your will. To be led by your spirit and be obedient to him. I thank you for this, Father. I thank you for this. And I pray and ask it in the name of your son. Lord Jesus. In his name, amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I love when the Holy Spirit moves. He's so beautiful. If you just watch this and listen to this video, he has moved upon you now. You just receive from him. Oh, dear. He's so beautiful. He's so beautiful.
I just got given a vision of a rainbow. I heard hope. Someone needs to know that God's promises are yes and amen. He is your hope. He's speaking to you right now. He is your hope. He won't give up on you, so don't give up on him. He loves you with an everlasting love. And with loving kindness, he's been drawing you to him. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I'll see you in the next video. Father's timing and by his spirit. Always by his spirit. Holy spirit. Spirit of holiness. Bye-bye. If this video has blessed you, and if you feel led by the Lord, like the video. Share it with someone who needs to hear a message from the Spirit of the Lord. Share it so his truth and his spirit can move upon the hearts of his children far and wide. And if you feel led by him, subscribe. So when a new video is released, you'll be notified and you can see it. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.